Welcome, 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 everybody. We are live on the floor of ITW 2024. This is ASA TV and ASA Podcast, your industry resource for the latest news and headlines from the leaders in our global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I am Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO and founder of JSA, and I am so excited to be joined here by my good friend, Scott Bergs from DF&I. Scott, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, thank you so much. It's great to be here. I appreciate it taking a little bit of time to spend with me and DFNI. We are thrilled. And this is not your first time in the hot seat here That's at JSA very TV. Very true, very true. You're so. breaking me in. Thank you. <laughs> so we're excited to have you right back. And it's been just a little bit. So let us start with giving us sort of this mid-year DFNI, where are you, what's coming up perspective. Yeah, Northern Virginia continues to be such a hotbed for development. And and where Loudoun County was kind of the epicenter of data center development and consequently the communications infrastructure that supports, nurtures, and, and enables that. And now that's pushing out as power demands continue to press out into the broader mid-Atlantic region. Mm-hmm. We've got to push out as well. So we're expanding to the north, uh, up to the border and in, in, into Maryland and continue to have new routes that are enabling new pieces of real estate, which are new data center developments in that area. And dramatically, as we go south and west into that region, with just new infrastructure that's both got the architecture as well as the depth of capacity to be able to meet those those new demands. And then just trying to replicate that in new markets. So we're really excited about all of it. Well, talking new demand and critical infrastructure and key, key locations, I'm looking at these headlines and it's all about AI. How are you guys? Managing the the absolute epic need we we have for for network infrastructure there. So it it really is a game changer from the data center community and consequently for us. And so we're working really closely with our data center partners to better understand really what does it mean from a capacity perspective and what does it mean from a a, a overall architecture perspective. As you're looking at the, the primary learning language models and then their interconnection with the inference engines, Um, That's a different communication pattern than the standard cloud compute has been historically. So what we do know is that the demand seems to be multiples of even what cloud compute was. And so we're just learning with those data center partners about how does it change the architecture? What we do know is that timing is critical. Getting these things in place sooner rather than later with that new infrastructure is just so critical. So uh, that's what we're trying to do is just keep up. I mean, epic explosion right we we need uh, like you said timing we need it yesterday so looking out what's the what's the future of df and i what's the next 12 24 months looking like so in the next 12 months we are running to just complete some of the projects that we have that both extend the reach of our mid mid atlantic network and then densification because even within those pockets where we've got a really great three ring solution in and around that area um, we need to reach the interior components. And so we're building routes there right now uh, and got great partners to help us enable to do that. Um, and so that's that's the bulk of our focus. But as we're doing that, the, the large drivers, whether it's cloud or AI, those data center drivers are leading us to new markets where there is power, there is land, but the communications infrastructure just doesn't exist. So we're replicating what we're doing in Northern Virginia in some of those other markets on what start as private network builds, and then will just be new infrastructure that's available to everybody. Uh, guys, if you don't know Scott and df and yet, please make sure you check him out again. He's one of the top thought leaders here on the floor of ITW 2024. I am so honored that you gave us a few minutes and helped us kick off this incredible event. And make sure, guys, DF and I, go ahead and check them out. Uh, Thank you, guys, for tuning in and for joining us here. As always, stay safe and happy networking.